It's the Surfing Ninjas and the Rad Radicals. Totally! Yo, Otto, what kicking, bruh? Dude, not much, bruh. Actually, I just got a real freaky envelope in the mail today. Been scared to open it. Bro, speaking of weird, have you seen Twister lately? Nah, man. You think the letter has anything to do with a mailing? Only one way to find out. Mwahahaha, <laughs> Surfer Ninjas. Wondering where your righteous compadre is? Well, he's safe. For now. If you ever wish to see him again, you will solve these radicals to unlock the code to his chamber. I suggest you study. <laughs> Sincerely, Surfer and Fuego. Dude, Fuego's got Twister. Radicals, brah! Gnarly! Oh yeah, and Twister. Let's get to work. Totally. Brah, let's think back. What's a radical? Dude, a radical is a root symbol itself, and the radican is the number under the radical symbol. Right on, bro. Is it that easy? Well, kind of, dude. We gotta use radicals in radical expressions and in radical equations. Oh, that's right. A radical expression is expression simply with a radical involved. Remember, expressions don't have equal signs. Right on, dude. And a radical equation is an equation in which the variable is in the radican. Reg, is that your phone ringing? Yeah, man, it's text. Oh, man, from Surfer and Fuego. What does it say, brah? It says... Hello there, Surfer Ninjas. You miss me? Ha 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 Well, enjoy. Square root of x plus 7 is equal to 15. I want you to solve for x. Ha! Square root of 72. Simplify. Ha! You guys? Yeah, right. Square root of 2x minus 2 is equal to 10. Solve for x. Psh, no way. 2 over the square root of 7. Simplify. Ha! You're toast. Alright. The square root of x plus 7 is equal to 15. We're solving for x, Otto. So we have to isolate the variable. Right, well we'll subtract 7 from both sides first to get the square root of x is equal to 8. Totally! Then we square both sides in order to eliminate the radical. We then have x is equal to 64. Great, that's 1 down. Next one simplifies square root of 72. Alright, we first need to find the factors of 72 and see if any of them